Hey everyone, Tommy Sanders, and I want to welcome you, the Veranda Luxury Pontoons family, to our online owner's manual. Congratulations and thank you on your wise decision to invest in a veranda as you're now part of this great fraternity of lake life enthusiasts who love being on and around the water with friends and family. The Veranda Luxury Pontoons Owner's Manual is a comprehensive video-based resource covering every aspect of your new veranda and boating. This fluid compilation of content will assist in defining each and every element that is germane to your new veranda to ensure a safe and pleasurable boating. Come join us as we begin our journey to a lifetime of enjoyment on the water on your new veranda. It is truly an honor to have you as a Veranda Luxury Pontoons customer, and it is our intent to ensure you reap the utmost benefits from your investment. One of the easiest ways to protect your investment is our custom ratchet cover, designed to keep the interior clean and dry from exposure to the elements. Please note that installation and removal of the ratchet cover are much easier when done with two people and from outside the pontoon, but can be done from within the pontoon working from one end to the other. Please follow these steps to ensure the proper installation of your ratchet cover. Remove the playpen cover from the storage bag. Place the playpen cover and poles on the starboard side of the main walkway so they will not make a trip hazard. Grab the cover and stretch it out to the length of the pontoon. Have one person stand on the bow and the other toward the stern. Unfold and lay the playpen cover out so that the ratchet located inside a zipper pocket is positioned at the stern. Your cover may have a white flag with forward center written on it. If so, position this part of the cover at the bow end. Starting with the starboard side, place the cover over the edge of the seats so it hangs down the entire side of the fence. It's helpful to begin on this side because the helm and windshield help to hold the cover in place during setup. You may need to step onto the stem and bow swim decks to stretch it out fully. On Relax and Fish series, someone will need to open up the Velcro pocket, slip it over the bimini mount bracket and trailer leg and then secure it on the side hanging down. You do not have to do this step with models with a powered bimini, such as our VP and Vertex series, since the cover will lay over the top of the entire bimini. Next, grab the corner straps and wrap each around the bow and stem cleat horns on the starboard side. Now repeat this same process on the port side, placing the cover over the edge of the seats, securing the Velcro pocket around the bimini mount bracket and trailer leg on Relax and Fish series, and wrapping the corner straps around the bow and stern cleat horns on the port side until all four corners are attached. The next step involves setting up the support poles under the cover which helps to keep rainwater and leaves from settling on the cover. Your cover will have four to five telescoping support poles depending upon the length and model of your pontoon. Be sure to grab a flashlight or your smartphone so you can see what you are doing under there. Starting on one end of the pontoon, you'll need to open up the cam lock and extend the top section of the extension pole into the base plate on the underside of the cover. Extend the pole until it's snug against the cover and floor, then close the cam lock. Repeat this process for each support pole. If you've never used a ratchet before, then pay attention to this next segment. Grab the ratchet handle and open it up and close it to tighten the strap. The spring-loaded dog will begin to catch the rotation of the windlass, holding the load. To release the ratchet, pull and disengage the clutch lever and lift the ratchet handle straight to free up the strap. Please note, if you do not render most of the webbing away from the load before you tighten it, it will create a big wad of webbing on the mechanism and prevent it from working efficiently. On the stern swim deck, unzip the pocket to access the ratchet. Crank on the handle of the mechanism one to two times until the cover is tightly secured around the entire fence. Get under the cover, close the entry gate, crawl to the bow and exit the pontoon, zipping the cover closed as you leave. To remove the ratchet cover on your veranda, you'll need to do the following. First of all, you will need to grab a flashlight, crawl under the cover, and remove the telescoping support poles. Next, release the load on the ratchet located on the stern to loosen the webbing on the cover. Remove the straps from the four corner cleat horns. Preferably with the help of another person, you will want to fold the cover hanging down the side over towards the center the long way. For Relax and Fish series, you will need to open up the Velcro pocket to free it from the bimini mount bracket and trailer leg. 
Fold up one third of the outer section onto the center and then fold the other outside one third onto the center. Now lay the folded cover on the center walkway and beginning at one end, roll the cover up. Be sure to place the support poles, which you have lowered to the shortest length, inside the cover as you roll it up. Put the cover in the storage bag and stow it in one of the rear storage compartments, not in the in-floor storage. For further information about this topic and other Veranda Luxury Pontoon related content, visit our website verandamarine.com or contact your local Veranda dealer. For further information about this topic and other Veranda Luxury Pontoon related content, visit our website verandamarine.com or contact your local Veranda dealer. If you have a question that's not covered in any of these modules, send us an email at info at verandamarine.com.